quick. What's element 97? Berkelium. Yep, the secret agent sounding metal, named after Berkeley, home of some legendary atom smashers. Back in 1949, a team at UC Berkeley, Stanley Thompson, Albert Giorso, and future Nobel legend Glenn Seaborg, they bombarded a Americium with alpha particles and a giant cyclotron and cooked up the tiniest specks of a brand new element. That's Berkelium, an actinide metal that's so rare you don't measure it in grams, you measure it in micrograms, if you're lucky. Berkelium is not something you'll find in nature. It's made in nuclear reactors and particle accelerators, usually at places like Oak Ridge. Even then, it's like trying to collect fog with chopsticks. Most of what exists is the isotope Berkelium-249, which has a half-life of about 330 days. Long enough to study, short enough to keep scientists on the clock. So what does it look like? Silvery metal classic actinide vibes, but it's super radioactive and chemically spicy, so it's handled behind thick shielding with remote tools. Not exactly a desk paperweight. Here's the wild part. Berkelium is like a VIP backstage pass for making even heavier elements. In 2010, scientists used Berkelium-249 as a target, blasted it with calcium-48, and boom, synthesized element-117, tennessine. That's how we push the periodic table forward, one tiny high-stakes atom at a time. Practical uses in your daily life? Basically none. It's it's too rare and too radioactive. But in research, it's a big deal. Berkelium helps us map the weird chemistry of the actinides, test theories about how atoms behave at the edge of stability, and give us clues about the island of stability, where super heavy elements might live longer than a blink. So when your lab makes a new element, you get naming rights. So the next time you see that little BK in the table, remember it's not just an obscure square. It's the key card scientists use to open new doors in nuclear science. If you learned something cool, tap like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe for more snackable science.